I'm ashamed by everything I said last week. You took the division. Appreciate the support. Nice on to the playoffs, baby. I'm ashamed by everything I was tweeting early in the game because it looked like all hope was lost. Right. He still has as clutch a killer will as we've ever seen in your sport. Yes, sir! He still has the capability of just going nuclear when it has to be done. Hey, we got the title. That's all I have to say. He did it yesterday against all odds to me because I didn't see it coming, and I'm usually the one who does see it coming. What a playoff run! I'm ashamed because I keep saying he's the one man in sports I don't bet against. Right. It was a had to have a game. You know, this is for, for, for all the marbles. And it was cool to see them come back because they were down early. You, they were down 14 nothing. You know, a team can quit. A team can give up and say, hey, you know, this isn't our day. This isn't our year. And Tom Brady doesn't have any quit in him. If you're going to go anywhere in the playoffs, it's going to be on Brady's arm. Okay. It's not going to be on Fournette. How good does it feel to see Tom Brady just get the long ball going, especially the Evans? I mean, Godwin said we finally got it clicking. Oh, right? yeah. That boy Mike went for 203 tugs. Yeah. I mean, it's a great feeling just to see them boys happy. Them boys playing ball, TB slinging in. That's what he can do. You know, as long as the offensive line gives him some time, he can work his magic. Tom was sensational yesterday. 432 yards, 34 of 45. Um, and so I don't really know what else to say. 432 yards, 34 completions. After all the injuries and the offensive line issues, how does Tom Brady just continue to will his team into the playoffs? Well, I mean, you just see that competitive spirit. I mean, you saw it, you know, in that highlight with the frustration. And there were moments of frustration uh, today in this football game. But, you know, there is something about Brady, I think, that, you know, in these games that, that you know, have – significant magnitude and importance on the season, just how he, uh, you know, kind of rubs off on everybody else. Well, I gave it a 10, um, not by the books, but by Brady's connection with Mike Evans, because through 16 weeks, we saw no indication that this was even possible. But man, it was great to see Tom Brady, vintage Tom Brady, right when he needs it, he got it. Tom and Mike Evans, they deserve a 10 for what they did yesterday. And now you got Tom Brady entering, you know, the off season on a little bit of a, a little bit of a hot streak here. Brady was on. He might have should have had better than that if K. Dotton knew the difference between man and zone. Is anybody still intimidated by Tom Brady? Even with the team, the sky was falling at one point during the series. Yeah, and Max, I think the answer is yes, because they're gonna put this tape on in two weeks if it's, it looks like it's gonna be Dallas that has to go down there. And they're like, we gotta have our right spacing on defense, because if not, he's gonna throw the ball over our heads. Despite being 45, he has a couple guys that can still make plays down the field. So absolutely, when you put that on tape, especially late in the season, Season, opposing defenses will take notice. Brady could have had more yards than what he did. But what I what I liked about is that about Tom and, and Mike Evans is that they saw an opportunity and they took advantage of the opportunity. All the credit to uh, Tampa Bay. Um, they made more plays than us today. You know, and given the opportunity to come up with uh, plays, um, they made them and we didn't. He lulled them to sleep like I ain't doing nothing. Takes off, throws his hand up, Tom Brady airs it out, touchdown. But here's the biggest picture of what happened yesterday. On the first day of 23, New Year, Tom Brady went 23, as in Michael Jordan, on the Carolina Panthers in a win or else game, a win or basically go home game. I know that it still wouldn't have been completely over right. if they'd lost, but this, this was for all the marbles, as few a marbles as the NFC South has had. Maybe it's for one marble, yeah, but it's yeah. still for the one marble. <laughs> right. And he went Jordan again. And you can say, well, relative to all that he's accomplished, it was just Mickey Mouse right. Jordan. But, but it was still Jordan-esque. Can Tampa Bay realistically make any noise in the playoffs? Well, if Mike Evans is playing like that, he's unstoppable. I mean, he's gonna, they're going to need to double him. They're going to need to back up. That Maybe that'll open up the run game for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But if they keep singling him and playing eight-man box football, eight men in a box football, then, I mean, Mike, he might not have 207 like he had this game, but he's going to have a day. And I think the thing is, you didn't see it coming because you saw no indication through the first 17 weeks you, that it was even you, possible. You, you realize Mike Evans had gone 11 straight games. Think about this. 11 games in a row with zero touchdown passes. Yes. We have talked and talked and talked to death how for reasons nobody can quite figure out. Right. 
Tom Brady and Mike Evans have fallen completely apart. They've lost their wavelength. They've lost their chemistry. They've <coughs> lost their rapport. I don't think they hate each other. I don't think anything's going on between them. They just lost connection right. for reasons I don't know. Brady said after the game, yeah, I missed him a bunch of times. And there were some times, such as the first throw at Carolina, when it hit right. Mike Evans right in the hands and he just right. butterfingered it. Yeah. I don't know why. I, I can't figure it out because Mike Evans is better than that and Tom Brady is better than that, but it had not worked. Yet clearly, the whole idea yesterday was, screw it. Like, let's just forget about all that didn't happen. Let's make it happen today. I'm going to throw you a whole bunch of footballs, and let's just see if we can figure this back out on the fly because you and I are the only hope we have to win this game. Right. And that's the God's truth. That was it. This stuff is coming down to the wire drastically. And, and we saw it in the NFC South. You know, I mean, we've been talking smack about this division all season long. And we had a barn burner down in Tampa, Rich. Turning the ball over, led to 10 points. Uh, and you can't win uh, against a quarterback like that in uh, turning the ball over. And then if you go to a couple of incompletions, he's going to be right back on the field. Yep. So now he tempos you because, like you said, they went hurry up. And so now he's in a rhythm. And that's the one thing you don't want a quarterback to do is to get a rhythm, especially that quarterback. That and quarterback. for all intents and purposes, the game was over. Whew. And yet the Buccaneers managed to score 30 points while running 25 times for a grand total of 67 mm -hmm. yards. What's the effect of that on the defense as far as, you know, them sustaining drives and, you know, being able to just, you know, get those big glory plays as well? I mean, we get, they get points, we get rest, we go out there and we have a party, you know, because it makes the other team not be so one-dimensional, you know, because they're not playing with a big lead. They got to have a sense of urgency, so they got to pass in on the ball. More chaos, Mitchell. Elimination. So the Bucks win and clinch a playoff spot. Steve Karnacki, welcome back. That means Carolina's chances are over, right? Yeah, that's Carolina, one of 10 teams that came in today potentially facing elimination from the playoff race. Obviously, they are now out of it. The Buccaneers winning. The Buccaneers are now clinched. They're in the playoffs. Obviously, this, this was a step just to get us in the playoffs, but we know we want to be better. We still got things to clean up. You know, a win is a win. We're not going to uh, cry about a win, but we know we want to get better because, I mean, it's a good team. If we can just get full strength and just ball, we can do whatever we want to do. Well, it looked like Tom Brady finally understood that, hey, Sometimes you can just throw it up to Mike Evans over and over and over again, and it will work. You think about the struggles that he's had with Mike Evans this season, and then for them to have the connection that they had today. And I would just say this, like when you think about everything that they've gone through this year, playing number 12 in the postseason is not something anybody in the NFC is going to be eager to do. He sure did 432 yards and capped it off with a rushing TD too. And I think people still be scared to face them. You know, Mike was getting his yards, but there weren't the explosive plays that you're used to. And then this game, it was like, hey, you got nothing to lose. Toss it up to him over and over and over. I mean, at, at some point, you, as the corner, you got to just start bail <laughs> and say, hey, hey, come on now. You'll, you'll catch everything but a go ball today. We play for 60 minutes and we get the job done. At the end, we win every game from here on out by one or two points. A win is a win. Rich, to your point, I mean, this is the Mike Evans of the last several years, right? I mean, I thought I was watching replays. Every time I looked up, he was catching a goal ball down the right sideline, and I was like, oh, that's another touchdown. The one thing I stated to those guys, the last element, that's what we're going to do this week. We're going to finish. That's what men do. Uh, that's what good football teams do, regardless of the uh, record, regardless of the circumstances. Uh, we're going to come in tomorrow, put this game to bed, uh, and have a great week of practice, uh, with that leading to game day execution. We're going to finish next week, and, and that's our mindset. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe as I post a new Tom Brady video every day.